In the previous episode, we speed ran Chen Yu Vale, collected a bunch of Lumen Spar in the chasm, and skipped through a huge chunk of the Sumeru Archon quest as well as export Dragon Spine in preparation for Arlequino's release. We're going to be finishing the grind off in this video and I'm going hard to ensure she's coming home. So without any further ado, I'm going to get right back to where we left off. What? Is she sneezing? That is so cute though. I've never heard that voice line before. We are claiming another set of dailies. All right, let's go. The Vitalized Dragon Tooth, Dragon Spear, 50 Primo Gems. Off to the chasm once again. This Fatui lady here, this should be another 40 Primo Gems if we just do this real quick. Wait, that was that? All right then, 30 Primos for talking to an NPC. Another quest complete and a fat chest to accompany it. A cup of commons? What is that? I don't remember. We are back in Inazuma to do a quest for a samurai. Honestly, Inazuma is easily my favorite place. Just that the puzzles are a little bit of a pain in the ass. Clean out the pirate camp. You got it, boss. That was quick work. 40 Primo Gems. Off to the next quest. I've decided that I'm going to go unlock Seirai Island. Just because uh, it's going to have so many new chests on it. Which is going to be super nice. So uh, so off into the fog we go. If I remember correctly, the questline puzzles for this place are really annoying. With like those weird talismans on the, on the rotating stones. So I'm not looking forward to doing that, but you know, we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to put ourselves through a little bit of pain for our Lakino. I think she's gonna appreciate that. Basically, the gist is that we want to unlock the, um, there's like a shrine for cats somewhere on this island, and there's a daily quest for a bunch of primos every single day, and we want to, we definitely want to capitalize on that, because it's just passive income for, for basically no effort. Yeah, the Asase Shrine. That's that's where we want to get to. So, it has come to my attention that we have level 15 in the Sacred Sakura with enough sigils right now to get to 17. So, we only need to do 18, 19, and then 20 for just easily 320 Primo Gems. Plus, we get a Shrine of Depths Key. Like, what is this? 60 Primo Gems or 70 Primo Gems? Just from, uh, just from spending it. So, I will definitely be on the lookout for more chests. We're going to go back to Seirai Island. We're going to complete the quest and we are going to be on the lookout for chests so we can get the tree to 20. Let's go. Primo gems. We're almost done here. Getting it done one chest at a time. I believe this is the final warding stone. And there we go. And we have some big old chests here. Let's go. Perfect. So let's just head back and finish the quest. We are grinding today. I don't know if I want to go to Tsurumi Island just today. Because that, that thing is so long. But there's Seirai Storm Chaser is complete. Cat Daily is complete. There we go. Uh, don't have this unlocked because I haven't been to Tsurumi yet, but I knew there was going to be a domain here, so we're just going to do this right now. Hell yes. I want to see that Shimanawa piece that we just copped. What does it look like? Pretty terrible, but this is all we care about. The progress so far in this video has been insanely good. We are actually making strides towards Arlecchino you know, at this point. We just send it. 15 to 20. Let's just uh, let's also make sure we claim the reward. So we have 
talent books, two standard pulls, a shrine key that we're going to go use, talent books, and these. That is awesome. That's perfect. For one last time, we go back to Seirai Island, grab that shrine, and uh, go back to questing. There it is. We are back in Sumeru. And you know what time it is. That's right, it's time to do the R&R quest line for the second time in my life. Oh, I will do anything for Arlecchino at this point. Let's go get it. Let's go get this dub. That's nice. That's 50 in the bag. Just from skipping some dialogue. So the start of the R&R hasn't been too bad so far. But I will say that being back in this forest is... Uh, it is certainly an experience. The sun and moon. Oh, there's a there's a luxurious here. Can we take that. There we have it. Just gonna send what I have for now. Fragiles, two standards. Let's see if we can get a four star. Maybe a lucky five star. I don't think I've ever had an early on the standard banner. Just imagine. Nah. A quick shrine of depths to start off the day. And I see a withering zone back there, so we're gonna do that as well. Me and my level 40 Tainari are just absolutely shredding this place up. For no good reason, honestly. That's one part complete. Where are we going next? Back here again. I have to admit though, like, I don't think it's that bad. For some reason, like, doing the R&R stuff for the second time, I thought it would be way worse. But it's actually going pretty... It, it's it's chill. And I think part of that is because I actually know where everything is now. First time around, I was just kind of bumbling around and I was unable to find a lot of the things. Like, I didn't even know what the quest line was about. But now that I do know, uh, I know what I'm working towards and, like, it's, it's, a, lot, it's a lot clearer, which is nice. A luxurious chest. This is going real well. Yo, this is cool. I forgot about this. This is fucking awesome. Should be almost done with this segment. Ooh, it's an abyss mage. Sorry, an abyss lector. Time for a big fight. Battle of epic proportions, even. Unfortunately, I just have to spam plunge with Zhan Yin to, uh, to break the shield <laughs> in an aggravate team. I don't have much to, uh, don't have many tools to deal with this right now. Well, we should be fine here. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Beautiful. How many sigils do we have? 103. I believe I need 280 to uh, get the intertwined fates from the Tree of Dreams. So that's what we're going to be working towards. I realized that I went and did the... I did the other part of the quest line. Because I thought I had completed this one. But then I had a quest return to return back here. And here we are. Just doing this final bit here, I think. Yeah, we need to go. We need to go into the middle now. It is pretty interesting how the the R and R talk about your abyss sibling, like what is it, like five hundred years ago, before she ended up in Conria. I think that is that's super cool. At least for me personally, I think the Dainsleaf storylines are easily the the cream of the crop as far as Genshin lore goes, because that's the most interesting stuff. We're just jumping right in. Oh, there we go. These are these caves are so claustrophobic. All right, well, the lightning, yeah. Lightning finished him off. The power of Electro. Right. Clear the spores. Can I just use a Nemo? Like, how does this work? 
Oh, okay. I'm so dumb. Just have to press it. Bad bug plaguing the Vervuna contraption. I don't want to be in that room. That's intense. I'm just getting zapped around. This is a real gauntlet. Holy moly. Are we actually going to kill it this time? There it is. Now we can change the weather, I believe. 50 primos, a page, and uh, that's that. There we go. Back to the grind. We've got enough Dendroculus for a, a quick level up on the statue. So let's just send it. 60 primo gems in the bag and 20 more for a shrine key. We take those. All right, I think right now we're at the meat and potatoes of this whole quest line. I think once we complete all these three quests, we should be getting towards the end of it. Maybe? I think so. I will update you when I when something interesting happens. There we have it. That was incredibly annoying. The terrain is just not friendly for Yaimiko's uh, turret placement. And my cloud retainer got one shot for some reason. AR-54. That's huge. We just need one more AR and this alt account is actually like at quote unquote end game. That's really nice. That's super good. Another one complete. Let's get it. The rhythm that reveals the beastly trail. I think this is the final one. So let's just get into it. Let's just finish this whole quest line. It's time for revenge. This thing just killed me. This thing didn't kill me. I died to the corruption. So I wasn't looking at my thingy in the bar. Get out of here. I'm honestly so tired of looking at these mushrooms and their stupid sound effects. Like, it's not even the fact that the quest line is long, just that the enemies are all mushrooms. You have flying mushrooms, you have mushrooms that are very long, you have mushrooms that, that just make you jump very high. I'm, I'm just sick. Look, 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 there's mushrooms here. I'm gonna suspect that in this hole there are more mushrooms. Here we go. Behind this door, you guessed it, mushrooms. Yep. <laughs> Floating mushrooms and ground mushrooms and electric mushrooms. Mushrooms eradicated. The rule of three. Is that it? Can we do the finale now? The starry night chapter. Oh, I guess we're not doing... I guess we're not finished here. I will update you when something interesting happens once more. Oh, the camera panning is just so annoying. I remember this part when I did this on my main account for the first time. I struggled really hard against this. Well, there we go. That was not that was not the same experience I had on my main. But I guess like when you have like an actual team instead of just using uh, like D Luke and Kale for like some kind of a, a dysfunctional Burgeon team, then then yeah, there's there's definitely gonna be a difference there. Give me that. Another quest complete. The final chapter. Okay, are we actually? Finally getting somewhere. Is that a green Sealy? Hello? Okay, I guess, I guess it doesn't want to follow me. All right, okay. Jesus, what the hell was that? Okay, this ball is very angry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I think level 40 Tainari is finally going to take a seat on the bench because I don't want to deal with that. Give him one more shot. Level 40 Tainari is just not it anymore. With these balls in my face, like, it's just not happening. Um... Oh, It would be nice if I could, like, neutralize this somehow. Just need to stay moving, I guess. That's the whole point. Okay... This is now done. Donk. More sigils. Actually, how many sigils do we have right now? 165. We're, we're looking at 280 to get to where we want to be. Oh, Don't want to get hit by the balls. Clear the withering zone. We shall do just that. Alep, Bet, and Gamal. I didn't know they had names. There we go. 
dunk this. And dunk that. Let's not forget this big fat chest here. Oh, we have an extra chest. Are we finally going to get to the last bit? I think we are. I think I've been saying that we're going to get to the end like for like six times by now. So I figured I would retrace my steps a little bit and just come back here to do this one time domain. Quick 50 primo gems. I don't know where I'm going in this place because there's no map. Oh, am I tripping? Like, where am I going right now? Hello? Oh, there's a mushroom. Okay. I'm just blind. There we go. I actually upgraded Yai's weapon. I got it to 90. I'm kind of feeling the damage increase, to be honest. Yeah, this should be the last one. There we have it. 50 Primo Gems. Coming in with a quick statue of the seven level up. Get a Shrine Key, five sigils, 60 Primos. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. It is time to turn in a bunch of sigils. I've been hard at work. We have 280 and this should get us straight to level 10. One click, 10 levels. There we go. Yes. That's a lot of gains. But this is why we did it. Two intertwined, a shrine key, two acquaint fates, a crown. I mean, yeah, we're just going to claim all of this, obviously. Huge gains. Let's go open the shrine. But first, uh, let's send these. A fav codex. Nice. That's a, that's a cloud retainer upgrade. Bam. Rank four. There's our 50 Primo Gems. Just send this key. Oh. That is big. That is massive. Just gonna grab that teleporter and we're gonna go finish the R&R quest line. Finally. There we have it. Time to wrap this place up. Glittering Melody. We're done with the festival. Which means... I think it's time we go to Old Vanarana. God damn, I look pretty. Full hippie mode engaged. Let's go save the mushrooms. Another one-time domain complete. I think we're finally at the last part. Let's just get going. Let's get this done. I'm so over Sumeru. God, look at those MLG fucking dodges. Holy shit. Level 40 Tainari coming in once again. He's fucking insane! Oh, okay. The completion should be right around the corner, Copium. Okay, now shit's getting real. I don't have any stamina. Oh, I guess we just dunk this. Yes, sir. Not doing a whole lot of damage, though. This music is so intense for, like, this green turnip. Okay, okay. Now we go back and kill it. Nah, I think we need to do a third one, but let's go do some damage. Okay, final one, I think. This definitely goes kind of hard. Alright, let's get rid of this. And I think now we kill it for good. Still looks very angry, I'm not gonna lie. Damn, this turnip is kind of powerful, though. Please be over. Like, I'm so done with this quest line. Thank you. Rest in peace, tree. She got a vision. That's cool. I want to go explore someplace other than the fucking forest. Thank you. It's finally done. I'm finally done with the R&R quest line. That was, that was like over two days Three days of straight grinding. Good god. So, today is the 1st of April and the abyss has reset. Which means there will be some primo yams right here. Start off from 4-9. We just send it. We should be able to get to at least 411. That's some amount of primo gems for just basically killing mobs. Which is what the abyss is good for. I gotta say though, I am so relieved to be done with the R&R questline. Like, 
I think from when I started that quest line, I was a different person. And like now I'm I'm just like something something happened. I don't know what. I think it'll be worth it when Arlecchino comes out. If you're considering doing the R and R quest line for Primo gems, just don't. Like just save yourself the trouble. Just just buy the, just buy a Welkin and a battle pass. That that is just the best way to deal with that. Elemental skill damage. Yes. Big Navia hit. I love plunging on her. It's so not meta. But it's so fun. It's the orbital cannon. Alright, Sucrose, pop off. Slay Queen. Yes, sir! Another one down. Chamber 3. 126,000. Yeah, we like to see that. I think Navia might have the most satisfying sound effects in the entire game. Like, am I wrong? The sound of that shotgun when you have like all the all the ammo is just it's so nice. Okay, floor ten, chamber two. Critical strike, critical strike. And we have angry balloons. I, I I love these. I love when the angry balloons are spread out so I can't hit them. Oh. Oh shit, more mushrooms. It's not like I've had enough mushrooms in this episode, right? Put them in the abyss as well. There we go. Next up, Yaimiko Taser. Would be nice if I had Shinjo's burst here, but I do not, unfortunately. Can this motherfucker just like come around here maybe? Like has he ever considered not being a piece of shit? I'm sorry, that was rude. Abyss brings out the worst in me, I'm not gonna lie. Like this game mode pushes my hairline back to my neck. Should be three star still, yeah. Let's just try to uh Get the plunges going, so we can do some kind of damage with Navia here. Okay, well, holy moly, that was fast. Uh, what was I using? Bennett Noel, level 40 Noel. There, there seems to be a recurring theme on this page, or on this channel, of me using level 40 characters, because I am terrible at descending things on my alt. Uh, Sucrose, right here, let's go. Right here, right now. Just iframe those. Because I don't want to deal with them. Go with the wind! Let's go! Okay. I mean, it wasn't terrible. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, okay, this is probably good. Oh my god, Sucrose is just on death's door right now. I think I'm gonna die to these. Uh, I'm not doing any damage, and I don't have a healer. Jesus, can he calm down? I, I don't want to swap to Sucrose because I'm just fucking gonna eat shit. It's gonna happen. Oh, we've disabled it. Cool down a little bit with some water. Okay, well, Sucrose just died off field. Can I kill that thing? Is he now disabled? Oh, thank God. Vape them with Bennett. Drop that real quick. Yeah, we should be all right here. We should be fine. Yes. Oh no, there's still another side. What is happening here? I don't think I can do this. Can I kill this three while struggling without sucrose or any healing? I just don't think I can. I don't know how I'm still even alive. Oh, dodge the ice. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I'm begging. Yo, how the fuck did I do that? And I three-starred it. Okay, well, there we go. We can claim some primos for all that hard work. I'm actually astonished that I didn't just eat shit. 150, 150, 150. Oh, that feels good. This is it. This shrine behind me is the final shrine to complete our mission to get 12,000 Primo Gems for Arlecchino. And we have achieved that goal. If we look at, if we look at our wishes, we have 9.7 thousand Primo Gems and 15 Intertwined Fates. In raw Primo Gem value, these add up to 12,360 Primo Gems. So we kind of overshot the goal in this video, but you know, it is what it is. I am very excited to finally, finally be done with this grind because it's been a gruesome one over the course of about a week and a half. 
two weeks. We are finally done. And it feels good. So, the next time you will see me on this account, on my North America alt, it's, it's, it's gonna be when I'm building Arlequino, and we're gonna make her absolutely pop the fuck off. So, please look forward to that. And I just also wanted to thank everyone for the immense amount of support that I've been receiving in the, the first installment of this short little grind series, I, I suppose, or this two-part episode of just manically grinding away at Primo Gems. So, leave a like and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments below. Hit the bell, all that YouTube jazz, you know how it goes. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.